What's going on guys? We are talking about a carbon fiber fuel tank. I have been working on this Capella, trying to kind of get it ready for a competition. Yes, competition. The Capella, I think, is a very competition airplane. Well, it's worthy. I am curious to see how it competes against a S7 Kit Fox. I've been doing some testing and I'm kind of blown away with the performance from the Capella. I figured, well, let's get a header tank and let's make it a carbon fiber and let's do some wing cuffs and I changed some strobes. I've just, I've modified the cowling so I can get some, so I can actually have a cowling. I had to cut that hole in the front for that radiator. Mm -hmm. So I've just been doing some few stuff. So I figured I'd do an update video and show you how I built my carbon fiber header tank. So basically I took a piece of foam, started shaping it. And then after that took some carbon fiber uh, with epoxy resin. You want to use epoxy resin with carbon fiber, not polyester. Started wetting it out and I did about three layers on this thing and then I vacuum bagged it and sucked all the excess resin out. Got it super tight. It's super light, <clears throat> super strong. Uh, really happy about it. And then I drilled some holes in there and I poured acetone inside to uh, basically eat the pink foam out and then I was just going to glass these in. Well, turns out acetone doesn't really eat 100% of the pink foam. It leaves like this gooey residue and I just could not get it out. I did, I don't know how many flushes of acetone, cutting it in half and looking inside and it was, it was gross. There was so much goo and just junk in there. I then did a layer of uh, carbon fiber on the inside and then now I went with a quarter inch aluminum tubing for my fitting. Uh, basically, the reason I did that is because it's lightweight, um, it's it's cheap, I don't have to actually pay for the fittings, and then I figured I would just micro them in, and it seemed to work pretty good. I held them in place with a rubber grommet, which I was a little concerned about because maybe the rubber wouldn't quite act well with the micro and the carbon, I don't know, uh, it, but I kind of that was the only way I could really keep those in a secured spot. Then I put the halves together, uh, micro it again, and then I put a layer on the outside. When, you, when I say micro, I'm talking about that's micro bubbles and you mix it in with uh, epoxy resin and it's just super light and it sands easy, but it's super strong. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's really cool stuff. And then I took some tabs and I put those on and micro those on and this thing fits perfectly in place. Some of you guys might be thinking, why do you need a header tank? Um, so you got your two wing tanks, and then from those wing tanks, it either joins together to one line, which is how the Capella is, and that's how I brand it the entire time. But it's nice having a header tank. Um, when you are getting low on fuel, if you're uncoordinated flying, meaning you're not keeping the ball in the center, that means all the gas is going to one side or not, um, you could run out of fuel. So having a header tank kind of prevents that, it leaves you a little little room. And the other reason I wanted it is I'm gonna start competing and it's nice, I can just run completely on the header tank and kind of drain out most of the fuel in my wing tanks. And then I have a sight tube here so I can visually see how much fuel I have left. Hopefully you guys uh, learned a little bit um, about this. If I did it again, I would not, I would actually do it in two pieces because pouring acetone in there was just terrible and you had to cut it in half anyways. And by, you would shape your, your plug or whatever your, your tank is gonna look like and then you'd cut that in half and then you would lay up carbon fiber on each of those halves and you'd leave a little bit of flange and that way you can then, when you put them together, you can pull that foam out of each one. <clears throat> and then when you put them together, you have a nice flange to uh, seal up. So that's how I'm gonna do my next one. Uh, I don't suggest trying to eat out the foam with acetone. It just did not work for me. Maybe if I had a big hole, I could get it out, but still I did a test in a plastic cup and I never could really get completely rid of the pink foam. So yeah, and I, um, I'm pretty stoked on the fitting, super lightweight. Um, you guys may be thinking, what am I gonna do for galvanic corrosion? I do have that rubber gr grommet in there and the aluminum is not touching the carbon fiber at all. So that's good. Oh, the other thing is I poured in tank sealer and it just seals the entire uh, inside of the tank. Um, it was kind of hard 
um, trying to drain it out of these little holes and then also pour it in. I don't know if I would suggest doing a header tank like this without having like a bigger opening to get in and out of. But anyways, uh, I did wing cuffs on the, the leading edge of the capella, thinking that may help me get my uh, stall speed down a little bit slower. And I put them on and I went up and, I, and it was a super windy day and I was just like, I, I was getting it down to like 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour and then it would break away. And I was so blown away. I was like, wow, this is like the bee's knees. So I was super stoked on it. So I ended up glassing them in, being all excited about it. And then before I put them on, I went out and tested again. And turns out that I was able to get just as slow without the wing cuffs on there. The wing cuffs appeared to do nothing. <laughs> they actually made it worse. They, they lowered my top end speed about five, 10 miles an hour. So I guess all that work was for nothing, but that's experimental. It's fun trying stuff out and seeing what works and what doesn't. I still have not tried VGs, um, so I'm, I'm excited to try VGs. Um, the other thing that, that I thought was really cool is I actually changed my LED uh, strobes out with Amazon Special, which I'll leave a link in the description, but basically get nav lights with a strobe. Is, and it's all different settings, but there's one setting where the, the, the nav light red will just stay consistent and then the white will strobe. And it was 25 bucks for four. You gotta buy a set of green and a set of red, so that's 50 bucks, but the strobe is all in there, so all you gotta do is get power to them. And I was able to get rid of my ginormous uh, strobe that I had on there before that just looked terrible. I was able to get rid of the strobe strobe box too, which this is like a pound and a half. So way, way, way better. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for anyone building. I highly suggest these. Um, I had to do some fairing to them, which uh, after I painted, I was like, oh, I could have done a little bit better on the sanding part. But yeah, basically that's what's going on with the Capella. I'll try the VGs, hopefully that helps with the on power landing. Maybe it'll slow that down a little bit, but I'll, I will let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I think the Capella is pretty much uh, all finished up. Oh yeah, the Cali new radiator and it cools wonderfully and I'm just so excited about that. And it looks pretty good. Um, not, not Mike Patey status, but it's, it's good enough. Um, oh. Man, I talked a lot. Okay, I think uh, that's that's it. I'll show you some clips of me freaking coming down super slow in this thing, landing short, taking off short. Capella's, Capella's gonna be pretty sick. Excited about it, excited about this. I'm gonna do actual carbon fiber wing tanks, which I will uh, show a little bit of that in upcoming videos, how I did that. Um, if you guys have any questions, send me a comment below. I'll try to answer that. And uh, yeah, go from there. I love how this thing snaps in. I gotta show you that. The best part about this thing. So that's what's the beauty of carbon fiber. I'll get rid of all this weight too. So yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be nice. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you with some uh, footage of uh, me flying super slow hovering in this thing. I was blown away. I was seriously like, what? This Capella is insane. So I'm super excited. I do need to get some bush gear. Bush gear would be nice. Maybe I'll talk John Roberts into uh, making me some bush gear. Excited to show you guys on Defiance and get back on that. Sylvia's not in this video either. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are gonna kill me. So uh, next video though, she should be in there. Hopefully, I think we're gonna do a trip with Capella. Uh, she still hasn't been in the Capella. So uh, yeah, you guys see a cool video of that coming up shortly too. Anyways, thanks for watching uh, and we'll see you guys on the next video.